Niners. Somebody is going to the national championship to join the likes of Mizzou, to join teams like Stockton and Nova, teams that have played their way through in the wild card. LSU, who punched their ticket as well. Bernie getting it started for SNT. Do they have anything left in the tank after an epic seven gamer with LSU? It seems they do. It does, looking at this one time with a nice solid touch. Bernie looking for the follow up, but time just getting that redirect to make sure it goes in. Already off to a good start is Missouri SCT. A quick little redirect to get things going here. UT Dallas. Oh man, I don't know if they got a chance to look at that last series stacks, but they are definitely not the favors coming into this one. Bernie, we're gonna flick, and that'll be the second goal for Missouri SNT. Sugar getting involved in the action as well. He'll pick up the assist. Everybody involved for Missouri SNT. UT Dallas, if you watched them over on the College Carball stream, you saw that they went the distance all five games with U-Texas Arlington. And an epic game seven that was as well. Plenty of goals to go around as Dallas held on barely to win, I believe it was five to four when all was said and done. Bernie, double tap, no it's off the mark. Follow up from time, SNT are determined to make amends. And look at this, Missouri SAT, not happy with that loss, but they gotta be happy with this, at least game one opener. In the first minute, three beautiful goals coming out here. They're off to a strong start, and UT Dallas are getting a sense of what exactly they're up against. Dalton goes over top of Sugar, but Bernie is there. I think that really was the big question, Mark Gazarin, was whether or not Missouri SNT could recover after coming oh so close had they just played their hearts out completely against lsu and clearly the answer is they've still got plenty of gas in the tank sugar chasing ghost and he'll steal the goal from time at this point they are weaving through this ut dallas defense ghost uh that's tough tough read and sugar will take credit for time shot now four to zero and what man, what a one-sided start this series has gone. Well, game one in the upper bracket finals was one-sided as well. And if you only watched that first game and then decided, all right, you know, I was going to go for a walk and come back to catch the rest of the tournament later, well, you missed out on what was one of the best series we'd seen all season. Sugar blown up from behind by Luby. And then Bernie runs right into Dalton. That disrupts UT Dallas as Missouri SNT continues to put the pressure on. This goes cross field over to Dalton. Tough angle. And he just sent one right back across in front of Bernie. Another shot on target. Easily blocked by Sugar. And very quickly downfield go the Miners. Yeah, and then that's, that's definitely going to be a big clear here for UT Dallas. Looking for at least, you know, something of semblance offense here. They've been doing pretty well, at least in terms of putting shots on, but they've been easily saved. They are tied with shots for Missouri s &T, but we all know Missouri has been able to convert. It's been five shots from both sides, and Missouri has scored four of them. And it's the reason why we're sitting here, at least in game one, with a 4-0 start. But you see Dallas still knocking at the doors. They are trying to come away with something here in game one. Time going upstairs, just throwing one to the corner and Sugar happened to be over there. And now Bernie will intercept and stop Ghost's effort, but Ghost can still stay downfield and optimistically stealing the boost out of the corner, but could not go for that ball. Luby can, but the s &T defense is all over everything oh, Dallas nice. is trying to do. And Bernie's gonna score from way downtown. And that one just sails all the way across the field and UT Dallas at this point, they, I mean, that's just a rotational mistake. Not much you can really say about it. Open that look. Bernie scores the fifth goal, and Missouri SAT are trying to put this, they're trying to lock this game down. It was 3 0 to Missouri SNT when they met during league play. And if I remember correctly, I think we had that match. Not us two specifically, but I think we had it on the mainstream. And I don't remember everything being all that close between those two. Memory, maybe my memory is foggy because I'm old. Here's Bernie. My goodness. Six, nothing. 
as Missouri SNT is running away and making a laugher out of game one. Yeah. They, I mean, they're getting everything through UT Dallas right now. And they, I mean, there are no saves for the boys in orange. Defense has been pretty easy to break through for Missouri s and I mean, they're coming off of a series against LSU. And they are more than warmed up and ready to go here. And although UT Dallas fresh off a win and a, and a very clutch series as well, uh, they, they just are not ready for how this Missouri s and team has been playing. It is no fluke of their success. No teams have been playing poorly. They have just been on another level. A rare opportunity for UT Dallas to get on the board and still that's blocked by Sugar. Missouri SNT is just on another level right now. Dalton, bouncing drive, blocked by Sugar again. And he can try to clear the zone. Ghost should have it in midfield. Luby still a forward, but nothing comes from it. And Missouri SNT wins the battle of field position. They win the battle of the scoreboard. They win the battle of possession. They're going to win game one in absolutely dominant fashion. Yeah, no way they drop six goals in 40 seconds. As much as we, especially as well as we see them continuing to play here. But this is a wake up call for UT Dallas. Remember, this series is a stretch here, best of seven. So a lot more games to be played here. And just because Missouri ST have a good opener doesn't mean UT Dallas won't be able to respond later on in the series or even in the next game. But that's going to be all on them, right? Shut out. Not only, not only that, shut out by six goals is what they end up letting in on defense. And just limiting those opportunities for Missouri S&T is going to take some work in itself. Then you got to think about setting up offense. A lot of work to do for UT Dallas in this series. But Missouri s and still playing up to speed. They are gonna end up taking game one here as soon as the ball hits the ground. But oh, well, we're, we're gonna keep it up just a little bit longer. Okay. I mean, we have, a, we have they don't have enough crazy goals in them. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, they're, they're gonna get one. Yeah, they they're are. gonna get one. Okay. Look at that. There you go, it's not a shutout. It's not a shutout. It's not a shutout. <laughs> they, they get one, time off the clock. Nice touch downfield, Luby. I mean, it's an open net. So, last goal wins? No, mm -mm, not, no, okay. no. It's the most goals, and Missouri s and definitely got the most in that game one. Absolute dominant performance from pretty much everybody, and UT Dallas at that point left kind of scratching their heads. They'll feel a little bit better as again you said, no shutout. But still, so much work needs to be done for the squad if they want to have a chance in this series. And we'll see if they can make those changes as we get ready to get into game two. If you saw on the scoreboard there, the shots were almost identical. In fact, Dallas outshot Missouri, technically. Sure, I guess that last shot. But the scoreline being so very different has to be demoralized when you think, well, they had just as many chances as we did but we couldn't stop anything. UT Dallas has to go back to the drawing board as we get ready for game two. Gotta be a different story for their sake. Else Missouri s and is gonna threaten to run away with this series and finally, at long last, put their name in the hat for the CRL National Championship. Well, you're starting to see a little bit of of a response here from UT Dallas, at least off the opener. But I really want to see how they act on defense once we see Missouri SNT move downfield. That's got to be kind of the big thing here. They ended up letting a lot of goals in in game one. Let's see how that rotation changes. As you know, it's a fresh start here for Ben Temple. They're a team that can worry you down just with momentum alone. Talking about Missouri SNT, they start so aggressive. At the start of every game, they come off of every kickoff, super aggro. And if they manage to get by you, they just pour it on. And it can be demoralizing to face. UT Dallas, this time, has held them off the scoreboard for the first minute. This time has to collect. Ghost takes over, and Bernie gets a good stop right in front of his own net. Sugar has absolutely no boost, so he can circle around and try to find some. But there is none to find behind him. And UT Dallas may be in business here if they can keep this ball in the zone, which they do. Ghost, thrown it to the corner instead. Bernie does have boost now. 
And it looks like SNT is starting to turn the corner defensively. Ooh. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of challenges here in the midfield. And we haven't had any goals scored quite yet. So UT Dallas doing a good job of holding things off, at least for Missouri SNT in, that, in the midfield line. Luby with some control on his own end to slow things down. But here is Missouri SNT looking for something here on the offensive push. That's a big miss there from Ghost, but Luby able to clear things away. Dalton downfield, pass out, but Luby wasn't expecting that much speed on it and height. So a little thrown off here is Missouri ST trying to take control of the ball. Oh, Luby whiffed on that one too. He just couldn't clip it on his way by. Opportunity now for Missouri SNT. Dalton barely getting there. As he'll clear it away, he'll get credit for a save as well. Loose ball and Sugar's going to score as nobody from Dallas had enough boost to go up for this, I don't think. Oh, yeah, they were they were low. Dalton at zero. Luby was low on, on 30, but he kind of got messed up as he tried to hop over Dalton. Just a mess in the UT Dallas half. And the goal from Sugar just rolls in. So now Missouri S&T, they have the lead. And... I say it probably gives them a little bit of confidence going, but meanwhile, those defensive mistakes still very blatant from UT Dallas. Oh, Luby back the other way. Could not get by Sugar or Time. And Ghost, well, he phased right through that ball, too. As Luby will sky one up to Dalton. Now through across the center line, but Sugar stops him, so Luby's got to take over. Dalton waiting on the backboard. Flip reset possibly from Luby. But Sugar picks his pocket, and the lead remains one goal for Missouri SNT. But Dallas is threatening with a minute 50 to go. Yeah. They're moving this one downfield pretty effectively. Dawson goes up, play out. Luby, misread, breakaway downfield. A lot of bumps still happening in the midfield line as it almost looked like it was a free goal for Missouri SNT. But man, is this one starting to speed up? Ghost, and you don't kind of want to pay attention to Ghost here too. Not having pretty much the best game, but once he gets into it, and you're starting to see that a little bit with some of the shots he's putting on, he takes another one almost at the top corner. Dalton will try again with him and send him a pass out, but could not find the redirect. As you see, UT Dallas really starting to look threatening on offense here as we approach the final minute of gameplay. Ghost is reminding me a little bit of time from the previous series. Not having a great start, but you know it's there. Bernie with a big demolition on Luby. Time to center for Sugar, but Ghost will clear it away. We know that Ghost could absolutely step up and lead the charge for the Comets, and if he does get going, they're a much, much different team. Ditto for Dalton as well. Luby trying to rush ahead, but the pass led him too far. Sugar, pick six. No, Ghost got back to stop him, and he's got a full take of boost. He's trying to streak downfield, but nobody can get the ball out to him. Oh man, Dalton trying to get around that, but Ghost will end up getting the clear out. Another good touch from Ghost, but kind of gives up possession here. And for UT Dallas, they need all the possession they can get. Transition here for Missouri S&T. And at this point, it's about them just running out the clock, making sure that rotation's good. Only one drive left here really for UT Dallas in the final 10. Luby with a great challenge, gave him a chance, and it ties the game! Look at Dalton, got the mid boost, sees the read, and he has to go all in, just barely beating out the defender on that touch, and the shot is through. UT Dallas may be looking to see it overtime here in game two. They've been able to stop the bleeding on Missouri s &T. They went from... A 6-1 game to 1-1 at the end of regulation. And it looks like they may even have more in store. We know they can score in zero seconds, but this one will hit the ground and we got an overtime. I uh, would have liked to see him get a shot off out of the corner, but it didn't work. And now Ghost, he's got to stay with this play somehow. Luby, what a challenge. Ghost is all the way over there, but Bernie has the read too. That's awkward for time, so Sugar has to come up. SNT look a little out of sorts, but Luby backed off. Now he can come up after Ghost got the demolition. And Dalton got a piece of time. Kept this in front. Oh! Waterfall. Damn it, Dalton scores! Are you kidding? Dalton going the extra mile for UT Dallas. 
Now that's a 50 into a double. Amazing read there from Dalton. UT Dallas are going to come out with game two thanks to his heroics. Buckle up. Here we go. It, it's just, you know, these teams can go through the regular season. Remember, UT Dallas did qualify for this tournament through CRL League play. Missouri SNT did not. They finished, actually, I believe it was an SNT loss that clinched it for Dallas to get in to that uh, top six, I believe it was. And so Missouri SNT had to qualify through the play versus league. And here they are. It's just getting to this stage. It does something to players. Sometimes it causes them to fold under pressure. Other times it awakens something within them. And we are seeing something special out of Missouri SNT and U Texas Dallas. And now a kickoff goal opportunity for Luby as we start game three. Ghost is all over this, floating towards the goal, and Bernie barely got there. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, wait for this one to kind of settle down on its own. As we're seeing everybody show up tonight in the Western Conference. And some fantastic Rocket League all throughout the day but we see Missouri SAT in a familiar situation where they only need to win one more skiries and they book their ticket to the national championship but UT Dallas stands in their way and I mean they are standing tall they came off of a very demoralizing game one and then Dalton as he puts a oh shot top my. corner he has been shooting uh, making some fantastic efforts all on offense for UT Dallas, and he continues to do so. It, it's amazing to think about, as, as you said, you know, the winner is just now three wins away from, or rather, these teams are three wins away from that Thrustmaster National Championship next month. You start the season with that as the goal. The goal isn't to end up here in the wild card. You'd like to take care of it in league play and to be this close you wonder if the gravity of it all has actually hit these players sugar shot blocked by luby time was going for that ball and got deleted by dalton luby now trying to roll one underneath and sugar's right there so luby will take him out too oh it's a oh, chance and he missed out and that's off the post oh Go! that's one Oh, that one's going to be haunting him. Uh, no pun intended. That's going to be haunting him for a while. Oh, no. Yeah, he's he's got to get back into the, into the game here. He's going to look to move downfield. Meanwhile, Luby will have a chance to control this. Looking for an air dribble, but it gets kicked away from him. Ghost will come up to just put that back in. Luby, it will roll in. <laughs> First goal of game three goes to UT Dallas. Oh, that is great. I mean, Ghost barely off the mark here and he's got to be thinking no way there ain't no way but luby's right there on the doorstep and he just pulled the string slipped it right by the defender right around the halfway mark ut dallas has actually their first lead of this series okay ut dallas starting things off with the lead here missouri snt now you start to wonder how much steam do they have in the tank as they went from outputting a ton of offense in game one to almost none here in game three. They're sitting at two shots right now. Game halfway over, haven't been successful in offense at all. That'll be one that will be recorded for a shot, but off the mark. Missouri SNT still trying to make a push here. It's a still a one goal game and there's still plenty of time on the clock, but this is definitely uncharacteristic from what they look like when they open the, this series up. It is bizarre to see this many shots on target. Well, officially for UT Dallas. Dalton, there's <laughs> no way. Time stop that one as he had a ball just spiked down onto him from the ceiling. Yeah, I mean, but if there's anyone on the field that knows the potential that Dalton had up there, it would <laughs> right? be time. Yep. So he gets up and gets a solid block there. And absolutely needed for Missouri S&T. So is that touch. Burn 
Kearney with the 50. He's going to end up scoring a tying goal for Missouri S&T. Aided greatly, of course, by that opening game, but that's the fourth goal for Bernie in the series. And boy, what a time to get it to tie up game three. A buck 21 on the clock. And a big kickoff between Sugar and Luby, controlled by the Miners. Dalton's got to have that away and does, but only as far as Sugar. Can Missouri s &T get onto it? They sure can. Bernie around two, but he didn't have the last touch, and everybody missed on the ball in front. This time. Oh, man, Sugar oh, got played what a there. Touch. Luby tried to go for the flick. This is still in play for UT Dallas. Dalton, though, that's really awkward. So Bernie will get another clear outfield. And look at Bernie again and again. He does not stop. Missouri S&T off of two goal run for Bernie. Take the lead. That is not great from Luby. You know he's trying to guide that to the corner. Maybe even hoping Ghost can turn around a little quicker in the net and help him out. Neither was the case and Bernie was all over it. 50 seconds remain. Do we have yet another wild finish in store? Time's gonna go right down Main Street. Backboard, drop down Ooh. and Luby almost had it go in off of him. Getting nudged around a little bit by time and Dalton can take charge, get this out of the zone, at least for the time being. Though that's awkward from Ghost and he's gotta find his way now back to his own goal and find a way to get this out of the zone with 25 to go. Play it up and Luby to Dalton, redirecting. Sugar is there, setting net. Pass out though to Ghost. Tied up goal. Ghost gets one on the board and it's a big one for UT Dallas. His first goal of the series and boy, that's got to feel good. He could not possibly mess that one up. Luby put it right on there on a silver platter and we're all tied up. Big momentum for Ghost and the UT Dallas Comets. Neutral kickoff. Here comes Bernie again, looking to play hero and denied by Ghost. Luby may have the last chance of regulation. Ghost is there with him as well. I think they might have actually collided. And now this ball looking like it's gonna touch down though. Don't take anything for granted. Time does kill it. And we go to OT, second time in a row. All right, this series starting to make us set up a little bit here. This is two back-to-back -back overtimes. Now we're going to see what these two teams have in store. That's a big double commit. Luby, does he have a little extra juice in him? It goes off the back wall. Who's there to take it? It's Dalton. But Sugar had enough time to get the read. Bernie will play a 50, and the ball will be killed uh -oh. here for a moment. Does he have another one? He gets to set up it for time as Missouri s &T starting to push. They're looking for a way through UT Dallas. Loose ball. Sugar, does he have the double? Luby says no as he gets to deny. Oh, this bounces all the way through, and Sugar's got to get to the inside track. He does, and now Ghost up the ladder, trying to get the dunk, and that's going to go off to the corner. Bernie did well enough. Here comes Dalton, awkward angle, and time's going to have a free clear. Big opportunity now for Missouri s &T on the counterattack. Sugar all alone at the side. Dalton's going to come join him, and that's a big win for Big D. Now time off the ceiling has space got the flip reset but ghost didn't give him any time on that one sugar will pass it out time made oh, almost another chance but now luby will be able to at least control possession here and this possession has not been in favor of either team it's been left and right but missouri s and t may are starting to find holes here within the ut dallas defense they're gonna have to clean it up as again minute 30 here and game three overtime luby has some time to work with, but you know he's got a feels time coming on. And Dalton just got rid of that ball before Sugar could get to him. This is trouble from Bernie. Luby's got to get it out to the corner, and this time does. Didn't leave it on the doorstep for Bernie like the previous goal. Now Luby. Got to have Dalton out there on the wing, and that's dangerous. Luby has to get to it first. Got over Bernie, but not Sugar. And then Ghost oh. had to avoid Bernie. Sugar oh. for the win! Look at Missouri S&T work with the space that they got. The soft lob, Ghost backflips, and Bernie sees an opportunity to hit Sugar. Dalton at the read, but just did not have the speed. Gets to that ball a little bit too late. And Missouri S&T take game three, and they're up in the series 2-1. 
Oh, the national championship is just two wins away. Close enough. Probably that you can taste it at this point if you're Missouri SNT. But the battle they have had to go through, everything they've had to endure just tonight to get to this point, it would sink most teams, certainly most mortal people. This is incredible. Yeah, I mean, so much work being put in, and these teams are being tested down to the very fiber of their Rocket League skill. I mean, pressure. You know, the rest of the season on the line, everybody giving it their all. Oh, oh, oh you see it goes oh, like no. that. Hold on. I have a book here. <laughs> Luby gave it to me. He said this one is the book of time, as he got a duck <laughs> with him. And whoop. That, that is one way UT Dallas get on the board early. Good free. Seven seconds in, and they start with that. Just a vicious dunk by Luby. His third goal of the series. Now he goes underneath time. Boy, I think Luby has time's number right now. That may not last as the series rolls on as Luby makes that stop as well. Banked out in front. Bernie was there. Dalton was there as well, and Luby could not make contact. Doesn't mean the attack's over with, though, as Dallas can stay on the attack. And that oh, shot gets through, oh, oh, oh. and time got a piece of it. But, you know, that's big for Luby, right? He, uh, Although they end up, actually, no, they end up dropping game three. And one of the goals that he let in was a bad challenge out in front. He kind of yep. needs to come out with an early start here to make up for that mistake, kind of bring his head back into the game, bring a little bit more momentum to UT Dallas. They're going to need it. As you see, Missouri has a team knocking at the door. Uh, they are getting very aggressive. Bernie might have got caught up too far, and Luby made him pay for it. And look at Luby. He gets a little, and now he's starting to come alive. Goes up with 92 boosts, and it's that touch that soars it over Bernie. He can't get the read off the post. Ball bounces in top corner. UT Dallas with a two-goal lead. They just keep on piling up the incredible individual efforts. Now Ghost. Made a big stop on time, but now Sugar. Oh, he got swatted out of the way by Dalton. Time couldn't get Ghost, but Bernie at least slowed things down enough that time can keep the play alive and slow down Dallas. What? But did they slow down Dalton enough? Oh, Bernie made the stop. Man, at first it looks like Dalton has no momentum, and then you just see him swerve through the air so fast it passed the defenders. I would, that would have been an incredible goal if Dalton was going to be able to come out with that one. But regardless of this, you're starting to see just so much more offense and really the mechanics are flowing from UT Dallas right now. Missouri s &T have been struggling here. They haven't really been able to get much going on the offensive end. That one though, wait a second, it rolls through. Time caught UT Dallas out of rotation. You know, sometimes you score a goal as a result of constant offensive pressure and a great textbook pass and fantastic team play. And then sometimes, you know, you just make a 50-50 challenge in midfield and it happens to go <laughs> in the net. That's what happened with time. And Missouri SNT is back within one and maybe about to tie up the game because we've seen how good they are off kickoff. Time sailed one a little high. Follow up from Sugar. Time still in front, but that's cleared away at least for now. Now Luby with a little control, gonna leave that back boost here for Dalton. So he's gonna have full in the tank as Ghost with a soft touch to push it downfield. Whoa, I don't think time uh, for that to happen yeah. at all. So everybody just kind of huddle up, regroup. Okay, as uh, needed a moment there, but there's a demo on the play. Does Dalton have oh. to rank Luby? <laughs> we'll get the follow up. That's a hat trick from him, but the credit goes to Dalton for the assist here. This is an acrobatic assist <laughs> and he almost put it in the net. Oh my goodness, that's stuff that you do in ranked and you're just like, okay, desperation. And it never works out that way. It always careens off to the corner, skies way up, comes nowhere close to the net. Dalton got it right in front. And Luby adds another. Five goals in the series, <laughs> make it six! Hey, look at that, that's Dalton with the playmaker. It starts here. You see the air dribble, he's doing this just to play the challenge. Gets a dunk, defense in shambles for Missouri s &T. and of course, Luby, who's shooting four for four, is gonna bank the shot halfway through this game, though. Plenty of time, I'd say, for, for Missouri s &T. It's a three-goal deficit. They've been able to go on a six-goal run before in this series. That was in game one. They haven't been able to do that since. They're gonna need that magic now. 
Luby couldn't get it around Sugar. As Missouri S&T finds things getting way out of hand here in game four. Dalton has been an absolute menace. So too has been Luby. But there goes Bernie. Around one, but Dalton on his way back. Happy to be there. And Luby breaks the pressure for now. He gets tangled up with Bernie. Still somehow got one in front. Ghost. Okay, if you would have scored from there, you know it's just night. It is not. And now a ball's going to bounce right in front for time to just pop away, but not downfield. Not really trying to just throw the ball back to UT Dallas. I think he's trying to give his teammates time and space to set something up and get some possession, but it is not working. Dallas is everywhere right now. Yeah, man, look at this. That's a double commit. Dalton was up pretty early on that one. Ghost didn't see him, jumped in a little late. So Missouri S&T will be able to push downfield, but they still, even despite having a numbers advantage there on the push, unable to come out with much. Their offense has been lacking here, and kind of strange, especially seeing how they end up coming out with that game three win, but look at this. UT Dallas, I mean, they're able to respond to this. And then, again, we talked about these teams in Missouri S&T being able to output offense and how much energy they've gotten in them and UT Dallas the same question was posed on this roster too it's been a lot of Rocket League being played over the course of today but both of these teams still going strong here Missouri s and are going to be down by three as we approach 40 seconds left in gameplay it's been quite the run but time will put one on the board and bring Missouri s and maybe back into a conversation point here uh, there's not a whole lot to it just a demolition right uh, somewhere along the way. I think there was a demolition before that. Am I just crazy? Either way, something threw off the Dallas rotations, and it gave time a chance. It gave Missouri SNT a chance. Time popping one up for Bernie. He's past the entire defense. Dalton left it in oh. front and still made the save. Time will get there, and with 30 seconds left, the Miners are back within one. And Missouri SNT needs to be careful not to let this game get away from them. I mean, I'm saying Missouri S&T. I meant UT Dallas. <laughs> Sorry, just so much happening here. Missouri S&T are within one with 30 seconds left. This is yep. feasible for this team. And time on a three-goal run as he gets a hat trick. And we might need to see a little bit more of him. He went for the Ooh. bump on Ghost, but Ghost able to at least get a piece of that ball. Oh, Bernie got this to the corner. This looks very similar to game two between S&T and LSU. Sugar didn't want to take this. He didn't have the boost, but ultimately did take the shot and Luby cleared. Time with five seconds left. Got to get it downfield. It's opposite side of Sugar. This will touch down one more time. Sugar to the back wall, spike down. No, Dalton didn't get it, but they did not get there in time. And UT Dallas hangs on for dear life to tie up the series. There we go. This is this is definitely opening up to show something. I think <laughs> you know, no matter no matter what happens here, stacks, we are gonna get a game six. And uh, we are. <laughs> just one. We will have Neo Tokyo. You know? Oh Lord help us. All right. All right. <laughs> but first we first we got Wasteland. We got right, that right. to worry about first. Right. Oh boy. What a series. What a night. This has been the the Eastern Wild Card was, you know, pretty insane, but like you had an idea of who was going to be there at the end. But when we looked at this tonight, we thought, okay, this is clearly going to be Oregon and LSU, and everybody else is just here for the sake of being here. It has been anything but. UT Dallas took out Oregon in the lower bracket. Missouri SNT has battled their hearts out against LSU. Now they're in a war with UT Dallas. Dallas had to go the distance with Arlington as well in the previous round. It has been just heart-stopping action for both of these teams. And somebody is going to have the ultimate heartbreak when all is said and done. Yeah, at this point. You know, this one, though, as we're on ways to... Oh, I actually thought that those would have had a piece of that. But, you know, as this one it comes into fold here chance for either of these teams to put the series on match point and then we are going to see what one of these groups looks like with the playing on their last legs but we have some gameplay to look at and right now it's UT Dallas on the offensive push 
Luby's been making some standout goals, but so is Dalton. Meanwhile, Sugar catches that rotation out once again. Missouri s &T getting on the board first. Yeah, you got to make your mind up. Are you going for the ball or are you going to the net? And there's a little hesitation there and not enough boost to even make up for it. Sugar with the opener from time. And Missouri s &T gains the upper hand in a pivotal game five. Uh -oh. oh, Dalton dropped down. Luby couldn't get there in time. Sugar with the clear. Time finishes it off. And that's a big stop for Missouri SNT. And that's got to be rough on UT Dallas. May not matter. Ghost with a shot. Didn't have anything to speak of at all in that previous game. And Dallas still won. Yeah, he did. And imagine, though, once he starts getting settled and comfortable here, as he has not been able to really make, you know, like you said, like that, that impact that you want to see. But... That still, that leaves something to be desired. And all it takes is just one good goal, similar to what we saw with Luby that last game, who ended up starting things off on the right foot and just dominated that game alone for UT Dallas with a little bit of help from Dalton on the assists here. This team definitely, you, you can tell who's on and who's off, but sometimes all it takes is just one goal to turn things around and get them going. The only thing we don't know is who wants it more. Dalton, <laughs> a little boost deal there. Deep in the Missouri SNT zone, Sugar going off the corner. Lubu is going after him. He'll settle for boost instead. Decent secondary prize. Now Sugar has that ball picked away from him, and Bernie will just launch it right back. And Sugar was still down there, but he's rotating back. Gave up the midfield boost. You'll have to take the corner. And fortunately, time got the ball right to him. Control here from Missouri SNT. That's got to be the name of the game here. They let a lot of possession get away from them. And now they're looking to set up something here. Bernie with the charge downfield. And Sugar just playing that one on the side, trying to look for the best possible play. But a couple of lost 50s, and time is going to have to buy his team some as UT Dallas looking to make the push. Missouri SNT had their fate in their own hands at the end of the Western Conference League play. I believe it was a win and they would be in, and instead they ended up dropping a matchup that they really should have won. They finished eight and seven in league play. Again, had to play their way in through play versus, and that Western Conference playoff that they almost ended up in saw Missouri and uh, North Texas punch their tickets to next month's national championship. Boy, Missouri s &T would love to join Mizzou and just Remind them exactly who they are, but they've got to get through UT Dallas first, oh! and that means getting through Luby as he just marches right to the net. First, sneaks past two. 1v1 versus time. Here's the pop-up, but wait, there's the bump. Nobody home as Luby once again starts things off here for UT Dallas, but he's forcing his way through Missouri if they stand in front of him. Channeling his inner teammates. Teammates had 10 goals in the upper bracket final. Luby now has seven. And still at least about a game and a half to go. Maybe more. Luby over Bernie. And it will be Ghost. Just throwing it right back into the SNT end. And uh, I don't know what Luby was jumping off the wall for. That may come back to haunt them. Sugar up the ladder. And boy, he dropped that one way off the mark. And there was no demo on the SNT side, so nobody's spawning back there, and Dalton just dances right through. Never took the shot, didn't have a line. Luby does, and time is right there for the save. At this point, Dalton knows to feed the high hand, and he's dancing around Missouri SNT to try to set up Luby. Luby's putting on some dangerous shot opportunities, and honestly, Missouri SNT, they gotta get something going here, but the mistake happens, and Luby, Nothing really extra he needs to do. He just has to wait. Sees Bernie with the miss and just smooth cruises that one in. Yeah, you could see Bernie was trying to catch up to Luby and just get a bump, try to spin him out, make up for his mistake. And it wasn't enough. 45 seconds left and a rather bizarre fifth game in what has been a crazy series in the hands right now of UT Dallas. Sugar, oh, he played Dalton, but didn't get the midfield boost to spawn right after him. Time did take it, though, and that might have wasted Dalton's effort a little bit. Time takes out Luby. It's an opportunity. Bernie over to Sugar. Somebody's got to get up. It's Bernie, and Sugar also jumped. 
so they have to reset with 15 to go. Time. Oh, everybody's forward. There's a demo at the back. Sugar. Full boost, but he didn't turn in time. Ghost respawned and got the clear. One last chance for Missouri s and Sugar whiffed on it. Time won't oh. get it in front. Oh, he did get it in front, and Bernie's shot is blocked. s and has to keep it in the air. Sugar. Oh, time side flipped, and that surely should do it. It will. Oh man, sub zero Ooh. second heroics trying to come out from Missouri SNT. But after all the work they have put in today, their backs are now against the wall. Oh, don't remind me. UT <laughs> Dallas are up in the series. We're going to a match point situation with Missouri SNT down. And you know what we're loading up next? We're loading up Neo Tokyo. And we, I'm gonna send some deja vu stacks. We have been here before. Oh boy, have we. All right, game six, it's a must win for the miners. And if the Comets come out on top, or let's be honest, if Luby and friends come out on top, it will be UT Dallas joining the likes of North Texas, Missouri, and as we learned tonight, LSU in the Thrustmaster CRL National Championship. Dalton wants it, didn't get there, but the follow-up from Luby, his ninth goal. And this, at this point, clinical procedure here, or standard procedure, I should say, from UT Dallas. Double down, and Luby with the follow-up from Dalton. I've said it too many times over the course of this series, but they never fail to deliver when they're both up on offense. Oh, man, oh, man. Out of the corner. Sugar, tough ball, couldn't get to it. Dalton in front for Ghost! And that pinballs around off everyone. Sugar in a real tough spot. This SNT defense in a tough spot. Now the pressure's really on. There is no safety net if they can't come back here. If they can't at least keep this close. Time, up against Ghost, up top! Didn't get the double on target. And Luby gets the clear because who else? And we can see Missouri s &T getting the antsy again. We saw this in the series against LSU, where they're going to start playing a lot of challenges in their favor and honestly making sure they're always at the top of the ball, but that gets away from them. Ghost finds Luby. Luby finds the second goal for UT Dallas. Oh, man, we have not seen many multi-goal leads in this series, and Dallas has got to be feeling real comfortable until they look up at the clock and realize there's still about four minutes left. But man, that's got to feel real good. A great start here in game six. A closeout opportunity. Oh, so close to the grand finals. Yeah, and like a lot of time in game left. And for Missouri, they have to start getting things under control and start working as a team again. They've been letting a lot slip away from them and UT Dallas has been killing them on the counterattack. They want to do that to close out the series. Missouri have to go back to the Missouri we saw in the opener here. But they have a lot of time on the clock to do so. UT Dallas sitting in with a two-goal lead, but Missouri s and on the push. Uh, Bernie was trying to get in Dalton's way. Time knocked him into the ceiling, but Luby coming on. That's the last guy s and wants to see with the ball. Well, the Miners, all they need is time. Player and the measure of time left, Dalton. <laughs> As that out to midfield, Bernie out to Sugar, and his shot blocked by Luby. Luby is doing everything right now for UT Dallas. You talk about an MVP performance. Boy, he is turning one in tonight. Yeah, and right now it's just about holding Missouri s and at bay. This is a lot of offense uh -oh. coming out. Wait, no way. No way. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? The, the, wow. This is... This is interesting. You have the national championship on the line and you're going 2v2 with a rule one. Okay. They, gotta, they better That's... score on this one. Oh man. So Wait. it's Bernie and Dalton. Actually that ball's been, they've got to push out of the corner. Bernie's kind of winning that. Dalton's been pushed way back. But yeah, they, they have to score, right? I mean, you have to imagine, you have to imagine maybe this favors 
Missouri S&T the problem is it's not Luby involved and that's the guy who's absolutely been killing the miners yeah but then you have Tom. time I mean if we're looking at individually yeah. then yeah you know this this uh -oh. might be this, <laughs> this there's too much on the line here to be playing <laughs> in a 2v2 right now but Missouri S&T are grabbing a possession moving downfield Sugar has time with the setup just trying to get in front of Luby ball in the corner but they still don't break this up and Sugar on the buying at least giving time the ball, Ghost at this point. Uh -oh. UT Dallas just trying to run out the clock and flip reset play in front. Ghost follow up. It's high and not in. Luby. Oh man, he's gonna get bumped out of that one. And yeah, I, I don't I don't know how I feel about this stacks for Missouri ST. I don't know if this is the best strategy. They have no one's been able to score yet, and we're running out of time. Oh, oh Luby under the bar. And that may do it, 109 to go. And UT Dallas is just over a minute away from breaking Missouri s and hearts. And you said it yourself, Luby still on the field, top score for UT Dallas, and that's a big goal. And it may have just closed out the series here as Missouri s and Talk about heartbreaking. They went for the Game 7 series against LSU in the overtime, played out of their minds, fought through some of the best of the Western Conference, but UT Dallas did just about the same. And at this point, looks like they're going to be the best of those two as Ghost almost, I mean, pretty much put the dagger in if it hasn't been in yet. Final 30 seconds of the game approaching, and it's been all UT Dallas. Man, oh man, big clear downfield. Sugar trying to get to it. Ghost got there first. Bernie, his drive swatted away. Nobody on the weak side. Time, oh, he just ran under it. And frustration has set in, and defeat's about to follow right behind it. The UT Dallas Comets are going to punch their ticket into the Thrustmaster CRL National Championship with a fantastic effort in game six. Luby leading the charge as the Comets soar to the Grand Finals. Congratulations to UT Dallas. I mean, they had to play so a team that has been playing out of their mind all day long and almost performing upset after upset. But when they came into UT Dallas, we ended up seeing the result there. I mean, it was a crazy start from game number one. You thought, okay, Missouri s and they might have this, but the UT Dallas just performed and kept consistent all the way through. Man, I, I, like after watching Missouri play so close against LSU and then seeing them fall here, you, I know for those fans it has to hurt, but you got to give a lot of credit to UT Dallas. They, I yeah. mean, wow. U UT Dallas is a team that, again, they did make it into the Western Conference playoffs outright through league play. So it's hard to say that they underperformed or underachieved during the season, but it felt like they deserved or were primed for a much better result. Well, it's hard to get better than getting into the national championship. It doesn't matter how you get there, just that you get onto the dance floor. They are, but there's still business to take care of. UT Dallas, LSU, our CRL Western Conference wildcard finals coming your way right after this. <laughs> 